have reached the Department of State, please listen carefully as our menu options have changed. Press 1 for the passport information. Press 2 for the Visa Department. Press 3 for the Authentication Department. Press 4 to speak with the Department of State Operator. This call is subject to be monitored and or recorded for quality assurance and training purposes. If you remain on the line to be connected to an operator, you are consenting to be monitored. So are you. Yes, hi. How are you today? Good, how are you? Fine. My name's Levi. What's your name? Sir, how can I help you? This is the Department of State. Yes. I have a question about renouncing citizenship. Do One you... moment. Thank you for your call. If you have an immigrant visa question, please hang up and contact the National Visa Center directly at 603-334-0700 between 7 o'clock a.m. and 12 o'clock midnight Eastern Standard Time. If you have a non-immigrant visa question, you may contact the National Visa Center Non-Immigrant Visa Unit at 603-334-0888 or stand by and we will transfer you to the next available agent. Please stand by to be transferred. Thank you for calling the Department of State's non-immigrant visa phone line. Our normal business hours are from 7 a.m. until midnight Monday through Friday, Eastern Time. Due to the global COVID-19 outbreak, U.S. Embassy and Consulate Generals have suspended all routine immigrant and non-immigrant visa services. However, they continue to provide emergency mission critical visa services as resources and local conditions allow. U.S. Embassies and Consulate Generals will resume visa services as soon as possible, but are unable to provide a specific date at this time. For the most up-to-date information about a U.S. Embassy's or Consulate General's operating status, please visit their website, https colon backslash backslash usembassy.gov. Your call may be monitored and reported for quality assurance purposes. If you are calling about an immigrant visa case, Please hang up and call 603-334-0700. We are unable to provide any information about immigrant visa cases on this line. The immigrant visa line is accepting calls, but due to the high call volume, you may experience busy signals or an extended wait. To protect your privacy, we need the visa applicant's passport number, the name of the visa applicant, and the visa applicant's state of birth. If you cannot provide this information at this time, please obtain it and then call us back. Please press 1 now to speak to the next available representative. Hmm. You may wish to visit our website at nvc.state.gov. Goodbye. Hi, how are you today? Good, fine. 
Yeah, this is Levi Jonathan, and I have a question about renouncing citizenship. Is there someone that I could speak with? Um, Ma'am, I'm, I'm calling to speak with somebody about the process of renunciation. Yes, ma'am. And you're the ones that issue citizenship, do you not? Is that what you want? A homeland security citizenship? No, ma'am. Renunciation. It's, uh, you know, when you become a citizen of another country. It's not available. Record your message after the tone. When you've finished, you can hang up or press 1 for more options. Yes, hi. Um, what department would I speak with about re renunciation? One moment. Center for U. 
U.S. citizens, lawful permanent residents, or green card holders in Ukraine. If you are calling about a U.S. citizen, lawful permanent resident, or green card holder in Ukraine, please press 1. Welcome to the Embassy of Afghanistan in Washington, D.C. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. For Embassy Operator, press 1. For Consular Operator, press 2. <clears throat> the person at extension 1002 is not available. The voicemail box is full. Please try your call again later. <clears throat> Welcome to the Embassy of Afghanistan in Washington, D.C. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. For Embassy Operator, press 1. For Consular Operator, press 2. For Passport Department, press 3. For Visa Department, press 4. For Legal Department, press 5. Thank you. Due to rapid spread of coronavirus at the United States and following the declaration of public health emergency at Washington, D.C. and nearest states for the well-being of our clients and employees, the consulate section of the Embassy of Islamic Republic of Afghanistan in Washington, D.C. is closed now. For passport inquiries, please email passbro at Afghan... <laughs> Welcome to the Embassy of Afghanistan in Washington. Welcome to the Embassy of Afghanistan. Please leave a message and a number. Record your message at the tone. Press any key or stop talking to end the recording. Yes, my name is Levi Jonathan. You can reach me at 863-258. 7752 in regards to citizenship. Thank you. Because it appears. Oh, there is. Yes, sir. There is no U.S. embassy here in the U.S. There are foreign embassies here in the U.S., but U.S. embassies are only in other countries. No, no. So, I, I, I mean, mean, I can try to find an Afghanistan embassy. Um, of course, if you would like that. Yes, that's what I'm asking about. The, uh, the Afghanistan Embassy in the United States. Some contact, please. Okay. Of course, I can definitely go to try to research that. Give me a couple of seconds. Yes, sir. information for foreign embassies here in the U.S. This is going to lead me into travel.state.gov. Uh, these are foreign consulates. Of course, we're looking for Afghanistan. Uh, it does seem to have a little bit of information here. I have the one in Washington, Los Angeles, and New York. Uh, in Washington, D.C., please. Uh, let me know if you have a pen and paper. Yes, I'm going to provide you this information. Yes, I'm ready. Yes. Four eight three. Four eight three. Six four one zero. Six four one zero. Is there an address? Correct. Uh, no. No, I apologize. No, there isn't. All right. So twenty three forty one Wyoming Ave, Northwest. Um, as far as uh, are you a citizen of U U.S. Are you a citizen of the United States? Yes, sir. And were you originally a citizen of Afghanistan? No, sir. I'm born and raised here in the U.S. All right. 
I was just curious. Um, do you know the process of renunciation? No, sir. That would be with the USCIS, which is U.S. U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. U.S. Citizenship Immigration, and then that would be uh, where you would start, perhaps, to become a citizen of another country. That is correct. Either citizen of here, of course. I got you. All right, sir. Thank you for your time. Anything else? No, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you for calling the Department of State Overseas Citizen Services. And of course, have yourself a wonderful rest of your day. Same to you. Goodbye. Berta? Bert, B E R T. I'm sorry? Bert, B E R T, my name. Oh, Bert. Yes, sir. You're with the uh, the 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 federal. I'm, the federal... I'm USA gun. All right, you're with the United States government. I'm just trying to get the phone right. number for the Citizens and Immigration Services. Is there a department? Because I'm looking in the phone book and I don't see that department. Yes, sir, I do have it here on my end. I mean, I'm more than happy to go to provide it. Thank you so again so much. Um, you know, do you have a pen and paper ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yes. Number one eight hundred. Yes. Three seven five. Three seven five. Correct. All right. Fifty two eighty three. Fifty two eighty three. Did I just speak with you? Uh, a few um, moments ago. Is this did you ask for the? Did you ask for the number of Afghanistan? Yes. That'll be me. <laughs> Wow, that's interesting. Um, all right, different phone number, same. Yes, sir. Seems to be, seems to be like I'm the only one working, right? I should have asked you to begin with. Anyway, uh, thank you for your time. Of course. Is there anything else that I can go and assist you with? No, Bert. I appreciate your help today. Thank you as well. Thank you for calling you as a If you'd like to give us some feedback, please stand on the line for a brief survey. Thank you. All right. Tell me, how Privacy can I help? notice. The Privacy Act of 1974 protects the personally identifiable information that USCIS collects about U.S. citizens and lawful permanent residents. The Immigration and Nationality Act allows us to collect your personal information so that we can help you with your case-related questions. We may share the information you provide outside of USCIS with federal, state, local and foreign government agencies and authorized organizations that have entered into a federally approved information sharing agreement or is otherwise permitted required by law. Providing your information is voluntary. However, failure to do so may prevent USCIS from successfully addressing your questions and or concerns. How else can I help you? Hmm. Renunciation process? with me. I'm sorry, but I don't think I heard everything you just said. Please tell me what else I can do for you. Citizenship of another country? Please tell me why you are calling. Are you calling to determine if you are eligible for naturalization or do you need information about how to apply for citizenship? Denounce citizenship. You can apply for U.S. citizenship by submitting Form N-400, Application for Naturalization. We have a great document that explains the process and walks you through the steps you need to follow. If you would like to receive a link to our website with this information, just let me know if you'd prefer an email or a text. Hold on, I understand you want to speak to someone, but if possible, I'd like to send you the info you requested first. Would you prefer email or SMS? I'm sorry, but if you said something, I wasn't able to hear it. Si desea hablar español hoy, solo dígamelo. Necesito pedirle que por favor hable un poco más alto. Would you prefer that I send that by email or text message?
I'm sorry, but there are some things our agents cannot help you with. For those things, you can ask me or look online at uscis.gov. If you continue to ask for an agent, I will need to disconnect the call. Would you prefer that I send that by email or text message? Text message. Now I'll just need to capture your mobile number and I'll send that right out. Please remember that standard text message rates apply. Can I send the text to the mobile phone you are calling on? No. Please hang on for just a moment. I'm sorry, but I picked up some background noise. Can I send the text to the mobile phone you are calling on? No. Please say or enter your mobile phone number. I heard three. I didn't hear a full phone number. Please say or enter the new 10 digit. I heard three zero one. Six eight eight six five two four. Is that correct? I need a phone number to send an SMS. Please say or enter the new ten digit phone number. I heard three zero one six eight eight six five two four. Is that correct? Yes. Please give me a moment. I'm still having trouble hearing you. If you are unable to respond, I will need to disconnect the call. I heard 301-688-6524. Is that correct? Yes. Great, I'll send that text. You should have it in a few minutes. Oh. How else can I help you? Renounce citizenship. Talk to operator. I'm sorry, but it does not look like I can help you right now. I'm going to end the call. Thank you for calling USCIS. Have a great day. Uh.